Bilirubin comes in two main forms in the body. Direct, also called conjugated, and indirect, also called unconjugated. These two types behave differently and give doctors important clues about what's going on with the liver or blood. Unconjugated bilirubin is made first when old red blood cells break down, mostly in the spleen. This form isn't water-soluble, so it has to travel to the liver while attached to a protein called albumin. Once it reaches the river, unconjugated bilirubin gets changed into a form the body can get rid of. This is called conjugated bilirubin. The liver does this by attaching something called glucuronic acid, which makes the bilirubin water-soluble. That means the body can now move it into bile, send it to the intestines, and eventually pass it out in stool. If this process gets interrupted, bilirubin can build up, and which type goes up helps show where the problem is. When unconjugated bilirubin is high, it usually points to either too much red blood cell breakdown or trouble with how the liver is handling the bilirubin before it's processed. On the other hand, conjugated bilirubin goes up when there's liver cell damage or blockage in the bile duct. Conditions like Gilbert syndrome or hemolytic anemia cause high unconjugated bilirubin. Conjugated bilirubin rises with hepatitis, cirrhosis, or bile duct blockages such as gallstone or tumors. Experts like the American College of Gastroenterology recommend always checking both types of bilirubin when levels are high. Elevated conjugated bilirubin points to red blood cell issues or genetic causes while elevated conjugated bilirubin is more likely due to liver or bile duct problems that may need urgent attention.